Dead Space 3. We're on the DLC of The Awakening on Chapter 2. Infidels, double-A gamer for life. Okay, at the beginning part of the chapter, before heading inside the ship, I told you about the one uh, circuit that was floating out there in space, so uh, make sure you grab that before heading in. And then uh, when you make it to the shuttle, you work your way over to the conning tower, which is where we're at now. Okay, we need to make a little bit of room here. One of the, the nice features about the pure survival mode, uh, you would think not being able to find health and ammo along the levels would be a problem, but uh, it really isn't. Uh, there's plenty enough uh, materials out there to make your health and ammo and stuff, and you hardly ever get uh, filled up to where you have to empty out your inventory, so that was definitely a nice feature. Okay, so if you've been into the conning tower in the regular game, you're definitely familiar with this room. And uh, as we head up, there's a bunch of dudes that are worshiping the cult leader. And once you get close to them, that's going to activate all these guys being hostile to you. So find yourself a corner to work from and then deal with it. Unfortunately, there's not really a good spot that you can uh, put yourself in that you're not going to get flanked from.
Just making sure to give the area a good look over before uh, continuing on. Okay, put your pot down. I was getting ready to do that, but then this uh, enemy decided to pop out on me, and so I had to deal with him first. Text log. I think that cult leader is standing up above me up there. Candles and more candles. Looks like we got a circuit here.
As you can tell, the medium health packs is my uh, health of choice there. Okay, time to head up to the tower now. Okay, uh, at the front of the window there, we'll uh, activate the ending uh, cutscene or battle with the cult leader. So. Make sure to loot the area up to there first before uh, getting into that. It's not a big deal if you do, it's just uh, when you pick up the shock piece is when it'll activate the, the end of the chapter and start chapter 3. So, But as you see, you got your one engine part there, make sure you get that. And I think that's it for collectibles in here. So once you walk up here, it's going to activate the cutscene. Uh, there's a couple weapon crates back there. Ammo and loot and stuff. I didn't really know that this uh, cutscene was going to happen, but it just kind of took over, so... Once you get close to that shot piece is when it'll activate. Uh, this is my first time out here, so I wasn't really sure what was happening. You know, I just knew, you know, these guys would be coming at me. Uh, I'm basically looking a little on the low side. I didn't know that I had to shoot the marker, so I was running around a little bit out here like uh, this is not ending. So yeah, I see the markers all lit up, and I'm like, all right, guess I'm gonna have to shoot that when I get a second in between all these other. At least it wasn't like the end of Dead Space 2 to get close to that chick she uh, took care of so... So I'm like, all right, what the hell's going on here? I can't, this is an ending, so about now when I figure out that I gotta shoot the marker.
Okay, so that's it. Okay, when you pick up this shock thing is when another chapter is going to end and then start chapter three. Great, now let's go home. Okay, look at the collectibles in Chapter 2. And at the beginning part of the video, I told you about the one circuit in the beginning of the level. That was the one I couldn't find and I had to come back and get. But you'll see here in just a second that uh, we'll have all the collectibles for Chapter 2. So if you got that circuit in the beginning, you should be all fulled up on all your collectibles. And there you go. Double A Gamer for Life. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.